Now we're going to want to extend our line, so we'll type in extend, and then you want to hit enter again, and move your mouse over and click on there, do it again, you want to do that other line, and that one, and then we'll do it again, escape. I guess I did it one too many times. Now we want to move over to the right side of the wrench. And we're going to start by drawing a circle. And I'm going to put it on the end of this center line. I want to type the diameter of it. And I want the diameter to be 29. And then I want to do a second circle in there, again starting at the same spot. And I want that to have the radius of 9. Alright, we are going to move the circle, the center circle like we did on the last one. So I type in move, I select the circle, and I want to go... Go up to and I want to type move oops move and to the right six so it should look like that all right now we want to do uh, two circles, but we want them tangent, tangent, radius. So I'm going to type TTR. I'm going to hit enter, and I want them tangent from this line and this circle. And we want the radius to be 23. I want to do the same thing below. So I'm going to go circle tangent tangent radius TTR enter and actually the same thing as the top I want this line and this circle and the same at uh, 23 and I want to do something similar on this left side and tangent tangent radius circle with the radius being 47. So circle, TT, oh, whoops, circle, hit enter. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Another way to get your circle is to go down here and we want tangent, tangent radius. So I want this circle and this line and 47. circle, tangent, tangent, radius, circle, line, 47. This is a good spot to pause and save your work. So let's save this and put it in our AutoCAD folder. And I'm going to call this wrench, and then your initials, please. 